in the previous videos we saw how to draw or how to define state equation output equation from a electrical circuit or mechanical system now in this video we're going to see how to define state equation and output equation from a simulation diagram so here is a simulation diagram um, that look like s yes, basically that's an integrator so we call this as integrator so that's an integrator here this is called a summing point a summing point we indicate with a circle um, the third one is gain or feedback it's a there you see a constant inside that's basically a square now our goal is finding the state equation and output equation so first thing we need to know how many integrators are there so here we have two integrators so integration is integrator is nothing but opposite to the um, differentiation right so if I have x1 here what is this this must be x1 dot so if I put the x1 dx1 by dt through the integrator I'll end up with x1 same thing here this is x2 and x2 dot so there are two integrators two uh, state uh, variables now we'll see what is x2 dot or x1 dot so from this simple diagram i can see x1 dot x1 dot is nothing but isn't it i mean it's it is coming from the same line so i can say x1 dot equal to x2 that's one equation okay now how about x2 dot x2 dot equal to um there is a 3x2 let me go with x1 first so 4x1 but that's minus 4x1 since I have minus sign there plus 3x2 so x2 is right there it is multiplied by 3 so 3x2 plus what else is coming to the x2 dot u okay this is my x2 dot writing this equations are so simple okay and now y equal to what is my y y is equivalent to x1 in this case y equal to x1 so that's my state equation or output equation i'm going to write down matrix a a equal to 0 1 minus 4 3 b equal to 0 1 c equal to 1 0 d equal to 0 so basically y equal to i have x1 plus 0 x2 plus uh, 0 u so this is t if you remember x dot equal to a x plus b u y equal to c x plus d u based on that i wrote this e uh, uh, matrices okay let me go with another example here is the next example Here is the next example. Here also we have two integ integrate in two integrators. Okay, so I'm going to choose one integrator, one state variable as x1. So here we'll end up with x1 dot x2 x2 dot. It doesn't matter which one you choose x1, I always comes from the left hand side. So x1, x2, x3, something like that. Now what is x1 dot here i have so you don't need to consider this line this line is going away so we will not consider so whatever coming here that must be um going th through this line so basically don't think that the signal is dividing here the signal it's not current like uh, current division i mean current is not divide i mean current divides but think about the potential difference. Potential difference is same. Think in that mat matter. Or think in that way. So here, whatever is there that is going through this line and available at this point. Okay, that's what it is. Now, my x1 dot equal to, I have x2 coming in plus 5u2 is also coming in. Or 5u is also coming in. Now, that's x1 dot 
how about x2 dot x2 dot equal to so if you look at here I have two x1 dot coming in right plus 4 x1 but at the same time you need to replace x1 dot with x1 because in the state equation you shouldn't have uh, x2 dot equal to something times x1 dot so we need to replace that so we already have x1 dot so 2 times x2 plus 4 x1 plus 10 u that is x2 dot how about y y equal to simply y equal to simply x1 okay this is one state equation another state equation and output equation that's how so what is my a matrix a equal to so here I don't see any x1 term so 0 1 here 4 2 b equal to I have 5 and 10 c equal to 1 0 d equal to 0 okay that's these are my a b c d matrices so two state equation output equation writing a state I mean Writing a state equation output equation from a simulation diagram is easy. Here is another example with um, three integrators. So we'll end up with the three state variables. I'm going to take that as x1. So here x1 dot, x2, x2 dot, and x3, x3 dot. Okay. So what is x1 from here or x1 dot? x1 dot equal to minus 5x1 plus x2 okay and how about x2 dot x2 dot equal to minus 2x2 plus okay what is the signal coming here you're getting x3 plus u so it's going to be x3 plus u x3 plus u that's x2 dot and x3 dot equal to x3 dot equal to minus 2 times x3 plus u okay plus 3u okay so basically this is nothing nothing but minus x3 plus u that's x3 dot and y equal to x1 so I'm going to write it down in matrix format which is x dot equal to basically x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot which equal to minus 5 1 0 0 minus 2 1 0 0 minus 1 times x1 x2 x3 plus 0 1 1 times u okay. and y equal to 1 0 0 x1 x2 x3 plus 0 u so when you look into the matrix format this is a this is b c and d okay i'll move on to the next example okay here is the next example here also we have three state um three integ integers or the three integrators so we're going to do not integers it's integrator so we're going to have three state variables one is x1 so it's going to be x1 dot x2 x2 dot x3 x3 dot okay now what is x1 dot x1 dot is x2 minus 5u so x1 dot equal to x2 plus or minus 5u so basically i can write this as 0x1 plus x2 minus or plus 0x3 minus 5u. Now x2 dot equal to 3x1 
plus x3 plus 2u so we'll end up with the 3x1 plus 0x2 plus x3 plus 2u x3 dot equal to um, I have minus 5x3 minus 9x1 actually you can I mean it's a good idea to start with x1 but it doesn't matter plus u so I have minus 9x1 plus 0x2 minus 5x3 plus u y equal to x1 so from this I have the whole equation as um, x dot equal to x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot equal to 0 1 0 3 0 1 minus 9 0 minus 5 okay so you know where th these elements came from so those are the coefficients of x1 x2 x3 of the first uh, equation times x1 x2 x3 plus i have minus 5 2 1 u and y equal to 1 0 0 x1 x2 x3 plus 0 u Okay, so this is this is matrix A, B, C, and D. Those are the matrix. Here is the last example. In this example, we have three integrators. So that's x1, x1 dot, x2, x2 dot, x3, x3 dot. Okay, so x1 dot, x1 dot equal to so x1 dot equal to minus 3 x1 plus x2 plus u x2 dot equal to x2 plus u okay that's plus x2 and x3 dot equal to minus 2 x3 plus u and y equal to x1 plus x3 okay so here i if i write it down in the equation format minus 3x1 plus x2 plus 0x3 plus u uh, 0x1 plus x2 plus 0x3 plus u 0x1 plus 0x2 minus 2x3 plus u x1 plus x3 or x2 0x2 plus x3 plus 0u so x dot if i write it down in matrix format minus 3 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 minus 2 plus i mean here you have x1 x2 x3 plus one 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 u and y equal to one zero one x one x two x three okay plus zero u so you can see that's the matrix a matrix b matrix c matrix d okay i'll stop this video here thank you